All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Fist Oji Combo. So now, as you guys saw in the last episode, we ended up getting Kid Boo. So it's basically going to stall us for a little bit because I have to get him all the way back up to purple three and with the other characters like the Super Super Boo um, Super Boo Go Tanks. So right now, I got him up to blue three. So we have ways to go on that. We'll still farm up the rest of his gear. And also in the episode, we're going to be going into more of the move system, just so um, give you guys more tips on that and uh, what I do on a daily basis with the moves. But um, yes, yeah, so now we're just going to upgrade Fat Boo with the holy waters we have that we got from the the, the challenges. So I should be able to level them up here. Okay, cool. So 51. Then we upgrade the skills as well. So Fat Boo links with Gotenks and also Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but I don't have those guys yet. So I have to wait on that. And now let's go and upgrade uh, Kid Boo's gear. I'm going to skip it just to save you guys some time. Uh, so I think we can get it up to, I think, blue? Yeah, blue. Okay, so blue 1 and blue 2. And I'll show you what his skills are here. So they're all level 1 pretty much. So it's going to take a while until we get his skills max, but um, now we're going to jump into the moves and I'm going to show you what I do on a daily basis. So for the moves, you can either use gold or dragon stones in order to get them. So my 17 you saw right there has those. Oh, and also guys, make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe for more content on this. Um, definitely smash the like button so I know that you guys like this content and want me to produce more of it. So right there we get a purple super defense and HP up. And what I'll do is usually get rid of the, the white and green gear, um, but I'll keep the, the, um, the damage reductions or the damage rates up. I'll keep those, but I'll just uh, get rid of the, the white and green because it really it's too weak, I think, to upgrade it and use it. So like I said, I only upgrade purple because that's what I'll have right now. I don't have any orange. I think you have to use dragon stones in order to get that. I just have not gotten that yet. So there, those are the, the attacks. Snack Light, Mysterious Whip, you see right there. When you equip them, you get a bonus stat. So, and I, I would just equip them um, each time. Equip, just go run through them and equip them each time because you get a reward when you equip them. So you get, um, you get gold and you get those little green orbs to upgrade them. So you see right there, I'm just cycling through and you get to claim those rewards. So that gives you basically, in essence, free, free uh, gems to upgrade them besides smelting your gear. So now we definitely want to get uh, the Kid Boo's gear up. Now you see for the Kamehameha, it gives 140 attack. I think this is 110 defense. So I'm gonna choose a different move and see what the stat it gives there. So now we just switch to Mysterious Whip and it gives 160 attack and 100 defense. So you see the attack went higher, the defense went lower, but I really want this Kid Boo to be more of an offensive type. So now we just switch to Snack Light and you see right there at the attack, uh, move command is 180 plus on top of the move stats so i think i'm gonna keep it at snack light because it's more uh, uh, offensive orientated and that's what i want in the kid boost so and i would just upgrade any purples i have on them and you do the same thing for the the, the super boo or i mean the fat boo you just do the same thing you just run through the moves so you get the rewards and then you just do what's best for that kind of play style i know the fat boo is going to be in the front tanking more so i'm going to want more defense and uh, hp on that and you'll see on the bottom of the on the move stats they have a sword or a heart or a shield that means the sword gives attack the the heart gives um, life points and the shield obviously gives defense so depending on what you put on the move stats and you upgrade it'll do such so now i'm gonna hop into biography probably do one or two of those and hopefully we get some good shards of some boot characters so right now we're down a couple let's say okay right there Mm, I don't know how much I want to do. I think we only get three spots, so I'm gonna throw in the Kid Boo just to show you guys him. So we're down 3k in CP, but we should be able to do pretty good here. Game 
Kid Buu's damage hasn't been that bad for a blue 3, so I'm kind of impressed with that. I mean, Kid Buu gets to finish there with the burn. So we get some orbs, and then we get we get a Gohan Buhan shard right there. And you can open the chest, which I'll do for you guys on camera, and you get like a move. So we got a green move right there, not the best, but um take it. And now here, this is a very hard um stage, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat it guys, to be honest. Cause I don't even think you can get that chocolate boo in the back in the game yet. But um he's pretty good. I think he he's AoE. Um, which means he attacks everyone. But let's see. <laughs> so he's doing his ultimate, so it is AoE and he's lowered everyone's rage. So when, when the rage is lowered, it means you have a. Uh, you might not be able to super your next turn, so it's a pretty, pretty good strategy to use if you guys have characters like that. Guys, leave some comments below um, on what video you guys want to see next or tips you guys need help with in the game. And yeah, make sure to smash that like button. But I do think we're going to lose here because this was a kind of difficult event. So, yeah, guys, pretty much going to wrap up this video of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.